That's right, ladies and gentlemen, it is 3.41 in the morning. I have to now go down to pick up uh, Jim, go to the airport, and then head to Seattle. Are you ready to go? Let's do it. All right, guys, made it to the airport. Got Jim. Hey. How's it going? Good. Uh, because he... His family doesn't have Nexus Pass. He forgot about his Nexus Pass, but he's got it. It was in his, his toiletries kit. Yes. <laughs> so we're golden. So uh, yeah, we just gotta get to the uh, Nexus thing and, and uh, check in. Drone didn't make it through like usual. Oh well. So this time it wasn't the drone batteries. They wanted to swab my camera, my photography camera. So Jim's decided to break tradition, and we're gonna eat here instead of Tim Hortons. So this is new. I'm gonna try it because it's new. Fancy, fancy stuff. The hearth. Uh, I love uh, eggs Benedict. But I got $16. Hmm. All right, there's my eggs. Benny looks good. And you got the pea meal sandwich. So it's got eggs and cheese and everything. Egg and cheese, yeah. Nice. Let's eat. All done breakfast. Now we're headed to the gate. It's gate 57. My meal was okay. Uh, although they put my eggs Benedict on like a biscuit. It's kind of a cross between a biscuit and a bun. And I prefer it straight up. English muffin. How was your food? Delicious. Yeah? Yes. Would you buy that again? I would. Yeah, there you go. I wouldn't buy the eggs Benedict again. I'd probably bump to your sandwich. Yeah. yeah. Just waiting to board. No problem. So I'll just get you to scan your phone. Okay. Perfect. Thank you. Flight. No problem. That took an unusual amount of time. Don't know why. <laughs> Jim's way down there. And he was like punching in all these numbers and keying all this stuff and I'm like, what is going on? I was gonna ask him if is there a problem, but he's just like go entering all these numbers and I had no idea what he was doing. Don't fall off the jet wagon. No. There. Again. As you're probably aware, there's a big weather system just west of the Great Lakes. It's going to give us a few bumps today. I really think it's just going to be a nuisance more than anything. However, anytime the seatbelt sign is on, you are required to make sure you put your seatbelt securely fast. Anytime we find some smooth conditions, I'll do my best to uh, get the seatbelt sign off so you can move about, but otherwise, uh, please stay seated. Uh, as always, our pleasure to have you on board, and we thank you for following our camera.
gentlemen, welcome to Seattle. The local time is 10.20. Thank you for flying with Air Canada, member of Star Alliance. We hope you had a pleasant flight and we look forward to seeing you again. As you can see, landed safely in Seattle, Washington. It is 10.31. Very bumpy ride for at least I don't know, an hour and a half straight. Just shimmering and shaking. Uh, it's probably the roughest ride I think I've ever experienced on an airplane. Anyway, so once this plane gets empty, I just have to go get my bag at the carousel and then we're off. We're actually quite far south of the actual city, so <coughs> it's going to take us a bit of time to figure out how to get up to Seattle. I wouldn't even leave that for the flight attendants. That's awful. It's like a huge mess. I wish I'd be to tape it for you guys. Thanks for the safe flight. Have a good day, sir. Thanks, sir. Thanks. Thank you. Yeah. Welcome to Seattle. any other time I've ever done this. Right now we're just looking for the the light train or the yeah. the light train. It's like the public transport and that's probably the fastest way to get into Seattle. And then we're gonna drag these bags around for the next 10 hours maybe. Link light rail. That's what we're looking for. So now we gotta navigate these machines and see how they work. So we discovered a couple things. It's only three blocks from the airport to downtown uh, Seattle. Yes. And then also there's like coins, dollar dollar coins, dollar coins in America. Loonies. Check that out. So is this, is the silver one different from the, like what's the currency? It's different because it's silver. No, but can you, can you see what it is? Oh. Might be a 50 cent piece? No, it should be four bucks. Well, why do they have two different Colors, we'll figure it out. The copy to her loonies. So the silver one said 1979 on yeah. it. So they've been around a while. I'm th I was thinking there might be transit coins or something, but no. uh, that's freaking cool. It says United States of America on it. One dollar. Sweet. You day. guys never told me. Jim just noticed that we should have moved here when we were younger because you can make a thousand dollars a month. Yeah. Have a bunch of little Jimmies running around in cans. Yes, stop. <laughs> subway part. Sound Transit. So we're winging it? Yeah. We're winging it. We're Fifth Avenue and Pine Street. That's some pretty cool advertising. 
So this is about a nine minute walk from this <clears throat> station to uh, Pike Place Market. They get to listen to music like this. We made it to Park Place Market. Lots of marketing stuff. Cobblestone, very cool. Not great for the luggage, but we don't have a hotel yet, so we'll get there eventually. We can't check in basically until three o'clock, so we got three hours to drag luggage. That reminds me of New Orleans. It's just the public market. This is Park Pike Place. Yeah. No reason they don't feel like I'll walk you around. Want a crab? It's Dungeness. Lots of fish. Ice cream around one of these here. Probably. Brits, pickles, yummy. All right, the first thing I had to buy was a bunch of postcards. And Seattle postcards, five for a dollar, 10, or 35 cents each. So I got a ton of postcards. Which one of my Patreons will get which one? Sneak peek. We'll find one. Jim is now hangry, so. He has to pick a restaurant as soon as possible. Lots of seafood, and Jim isn't a seafood fan. Look at the size of those lobster tails. Jumbo grilled. It has been chosen. Happy hour. They had me at happy hour. They, they had him at happy hour. Hello. Two. Of course I knew I was going to see posters. Like a sleepless in Seattle. Great movie. the uh, maitre d', the lady at the front. Uh, first of all, look at this view. Unbelievable. And I think I got the bird shot coming in. Is that a seagull? Yeah. Anyway, great view. So we asked her what kind of beers are good. And so uh, you're going to go for the mayonnaise pale. I'm going to do this, uh, whatever, how you say that. And then I asked her what are the two, or what are the most common things people order here. And it's the fish and chips and the fish tacos. So I think Jim's going to do the fish tacos. And I'm going to do the, uh, I, just, I just don't know what I want to do. Cod, salmon, or halibut? Hmm. There is my two-piece cod fish and chips. So if you're coming in, you're hungry, do the three-piece. But because I was doing the salad, I might... Like, we're going to be eating a lot over the next couple of days, so I'm trying not to eat a lot. And you did the fish tacos. It came with two. So again, if you're hungry, you might want to say, can you double that up? Because if I was just eating on a normal day, I'd want four of those. Because they're pretty small. You think you're going to be full? Well, full? Oh, pretty good. Yeah? I'm not starving. But yeah, so what salad did you have? Just a house salad? Yeah. I had, I had the uh, Caesar salad. I was waiting for uh, my beer to come and take a picture, put on social media for you guys. All right, let's just dig into this real quick. I already had a piece, but I just wanted to show you how flaky 
Look at that. It is amazing. And my new beer just came. So I think she was correct on the beer. Yeah. It looks the same, so. The, the beer that Jim got was really cloudy and he thought that was gonna be, that was supposed to be mine. But however you say that beer, it's good. Let's do a quick bite. It just falls apart. It's like, you gotta use your fork as a shovel. Put a little bit of tartar sauce on it. Oh, dude. There we go. That is amazing. Always forget that they serve that with uh, fish and chips. Coleslaw. Do you like coleslaw? Did you want my coleslaw? No, thanks. Actually, two pieces is good. Three pieces would be overkill. We are all done at Athenian. Great food. Total recommend. All right, guys. So we made it to the marina where we're renting one of these boats. I'm not gonna tell you which one. I'll show you from the inside. Uh, the last day, I'll show you the outside of it, but you'll figure it out maybe. But uh, yeah, this is awesome. <laughs> Good find, Jim. See, there is an iron and an ironing board. I told you. So there's beds up top. <laughs> you gotta climb through the hole in there and there. That is so, the hole to get to the bed? There's no basement. <laughs> Basement's wet. There's the shower. Washroom. Light. Interesting cable for the light. Uh, do not flush anything except toilet paper. <sighs> yeah, this is freaking awesome. Got our own deck. That's where my drone's gonna stay. This is so, so amazing. Look at that, people. Yeah. Carol, when I told Carol we're staying on a houseboat, she just walked out of the room in, in a huff. Oh, look at this. Please return keys to box or you will be charged. We'll come and get you. Oh, they left Coke, ketchup, spicy. This is ketchup. Yeah, this is brilliant, dude. Brilliant. We got our own little deck. You nailed it, buddy. You nailed it. Paul is going to be pissed. We got a barbecue. And we got our own barbecue. Burgers. Burger. -er. Yeah. All right, guys. So that ends the vlog for today. I got to get this edited and get it out before we start indulging in, there. in beer. What? There's somebody out there with your stuff. You left your stuff on I know. Time. I'm so interested in this. All right. Talk to you later.